Hello, Grotto. How are you? Hey, Lewis, how are you doing this evening? I hope you're doing well. And uh, welcome back, everybody, to the Gamer's Grotto. Tonight, we're going to be playing more of Alan Wake 2 on the PS5. Where we last left off, we were at the uh, the hotel, I think. I think this is... <laughs> I think this is where we were. I'm pretty sure. Yes. We were at the hotel. Um, uh, and that would have been about a month ago. <laughs> I'm not really on track with these Alan Wake 2 uh, uh, Let's Plays, let's be fair. Because um, I always get distracted with other games and newer games. As an example, tomorrow I'm going to be live streaming Harold Halibut, which is a uh, indie point-and-click adventure game uh, done in stop-motion animation. So no computer graphics at all. It's all filmed with stop-motion animation. But until then, let's play some Alan Wake 2 and make some more progress in this very long game. Very, very long game. <laughs> Wake. Alright, so we're gonna avoid the darkness. The room at the end of the corridor was closed off. Is there a very bad people it felt significant. You. Something terrible would happen there. All right. Plot board element. The plot board was empty again. Skadoosh. I needed it. The prop room had been changed from room 104 to, to room 225. 225. Okay. The troop were um, building their own wicker man. Where they themselves would be sacrificed. Is... I think over here. Wick. You can't stop the storm. I knew it. I knew you were a freaking monster. Because some of the shadows are, are are not going to attack you, and other ones will. So we gotta be careful. You're definitely, uh... Oh! What? Where did that fall from? <laughs> did that just fall through the roof? I don't think that was on there. Way to go, Alan. Destroying the entire environment. All right, um, Is so... the game that you mentioned it made with stop motion? What do you think of the plot? The game that I mentioned made with stop motion? Uh, I Well, I haven't played it. It doesn't come out until tomorrow. Um, so I, I don't think anything of the plot. <laughs> when is Alan's wake? When is Alan's wake? Um, well, depending on how quickly I die <laughs> in the game. Like... If, uh, if, uh, if I die soon from enemies, his wake will be very soon. You know what's funny is that he actually makes reference. I was replaying this part last night just so I could remember what was coming before I did the stream. And he, soon then. he actually makes reference to his stupid name in, the, in, in a cutscene in this game. He's like, what the fuck kind of a name is Alan Wake anyway? <laughs> so I... I thought that was pretty funny, <laughs> especially considering that you you originally brought that up to begin with, Stu. You were like, oh, well, what the fuck kind of a name is that? And he actually makes light of that. At the Gamer's Grotto, I missed you on my last few adventure game streams. Yeah, no, I've been busy. Um, I also am actually going away uh, day after tomorrow, so I will not be around for a couple of weeks. But when I come back, I do want to definitely get back into streaming stuff with you, Stu. Uh, and stuff like that. That's, yes, room 104 is what I want. Um, but yeah, no, I'm going away to visit family. Um, uh, my birthday is on April 22nd. And uh, they want me to come up and, and celebrate it with them. Because they haven't really seen me in quite a while, actually. Over a year. So, uh, I will be away, and uh, they don't have strong internet, yes, so... Yes, don't forget about the podcast, guys. Happy birthday. <laughs> I 
Lewis keeping us on track. Don't forget about the podcast that we haven't even discussed or or even thought about. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I do hope that, that it does come to fruition because I think we have a lot that we can talk about. And we've got a pretty good team of of people uh, in the in the Discord. So we can have some really interesting conversations about, you know, our various interests. But been too busy to do anything about it. No, you're good, dude. Whenever you have time. There's no rush. The only one rushing you is Lewis. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's cool. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't, so Olaf, on Olaf's channel, I don't even tune into all the podcasts myself when he does pirates. So I only usually join if it's something that I find interesting. Ooh, one sec, muting mic. I have really gotten into that 999 game very quickly too. It's very cool and I feel like it's going to keep me busy for a while. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there. And yet, like a half-remembered echo of a fading dream, always familiar to us. These are the stories that take place there. More inspiring, macabre, terrifying, heartbreaking, nail-biting, absurd, and thrilling. Sometimes all of these things at once. A haunting new season of mind-bending episodes written by Alan Wake. I am your host, Orlin Dorr, and I will see you soon in... Night Springs. Okay, a little bit of context here. So this, this specific uh, FMV that just played, this is a reference to the upcoming DLC, the upcoming story length DLC that's coming out for Alan Wake 2. Um, so Night Springs was a TV series from Alan Wake 1. That's the Twilight Zone font. Y yes. Well, that's what I was just about to bring up with you, Stu. Uh, so Night Springs is from Alan Wake 1, and it was a parody series written by Alan Wake parodying the Twilight Zone. And... Um, it was really good. You can watch on on these various TVs in Alan Wake One all these t really macabre and 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 strange TV shows that were heavily inspired by the Twilight Zone. And so, in the upcoming DLC, you will either be playing as Alan Wake or uh, Tim Breaker, um, and you'll be you'll be trapped inside of that TV series living out various episodes of Night Springs. So I'm really looking forward to that because I, I, I mean, I, I love the Night Springs series from Alan Wake 1. I thought it was really clever. And I grew up watching the Twilight Zone, or at least a version of the Twilight Zone. Obviously not the original, but uh, I, I think they had a Twilight Zone series in the 90s. And uh, that was the one I used to watch. And they also had, um, not just the Twilight Zone, they also had, um... oh, what was that other series called? Um, the Outer Limits. The Outer Limits was inspired by the Twilight Zone as well. You're entering another dimension. A dimension not of sight or sound, but of mind. There's a signpost up ahead. It says you're just entered hyphen. The Twilight Zone. Yeah, I know. I, I remember the series very well. Very, very well. It was brilliant. At the gamers club. Oh. I don't think so, anymore. Jesus. Oh, another one? How many of you fuckers are there? I guess just the three of you. Health is still pretty good. What I am going to do, though, is I... 
Why don't I have any ammo for that gun? It's good they make music when they come. So that Alan knows they're coming. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know that 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 sounded wrong, Stu. That, that just sounded heavily demotion material wrong. But uh, yeah, no, I I, I have uh, I actually own uh, a digital version of Nine Doors or whatever the fuck that 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 game that you were streaming, the one with classically trained, the one that was made by Robert De Niro's company, <laughs> his short-lived company. <laughs> makes a game that barely runs on any computer and then is shocked when it doesn't sell very well <laughs> and then has to shut down his business i uh yeah that was uh that was an interesting game <laughs> the nine by robert de niro is a curiosity i i know I, it's it's something. Nine hundred and ninety nine is a really fun game so far. No, I was talking about Nine Doors or whatever the hell it's called. The other one, the one by Robert De Niro and and starring uh, Christopher Reeve and Cher and Aerosmith and <laughs> all these big names. You could tell that he was only trying to make this game. Uh, he was only trying to sell this game based on popularity alone by names. There was never any thought process behind it. You're confused between the two. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not. I'm talking about the other game. You're talking about 99 doors. The Robert De Niro one is nine. The last resort. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I could have sworn it was nine doors or something like that. The good yeah. one is nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. That's not done by Robert De Niro, though. That's done by uh, somebody else. I was gonna say Robert De Niro's company only lasted for for <laughs> nine, the last resort, and then it. Uh... Yes, correct. That's my point. LOL. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's why I didn't have ammo. I didn't fucking I pick like it up. I like Winston. It's interacting a lot. It's like he's in a good mood and enjoying the stream. It's like he's in a good mood and enjoying. Why do you make it sound like he's never in a good mood, Lewis? <laughs> what? What was that? It's like, well, it's like you know, I, I like it when Stu's not an asshole. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I, I didn't know that there was such a time when he was. An asshole, I, but okay. You guys must think I'm perpetually angry or something. <laughs> See so what I was thinking. It's like what? I've I've never seen you angry. I'm I'm a bit concerned and confused. Maybe maybe Lewis has stepped into the twilight zone. But yeah, no, aside from this game being exceptionally long and, and going to be even longer with the, the, the three story length DLCs coming out for it. But I mean, um, I love it. I really do. I, I, this is one of my favorite games by, by Sam Lake for sure. Well, I do get angry. You need this to stay for the end of some of the bad game streams. This is where it began. Yeah, but getting angry at bad games is normal. That's I don't know of a single YouTuber who who is excited and happy by the end of a bad game. <laughs> I I I've never seen a YouTuber go, "Oh my god, that was the worst game I ever played. I loved it." Nobody does that. And if they do, they need mental help. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me look at my objectives here. Find the site of the pre-show ritual. That would be... Wake. The f Oh, 
Oh my god. You can't reload when they're in attack. You can't reload when they're in an attacking animation. Alright, there we go. Bite me. Well, the YouTuber, it's the Og. Uh, I needed to find the key. Why did he say it like that? The K? I needed to find the K? I'm pretty sure he meant to say the key. <laughs> the K for the door? The the K for the doer. The ballroom would be the stage of a key that, scene in the play. Is that the K for the door? Room 101. Yeah, I think that's the K for the door. I think he said the back room. Let's overwrite our save. So, um, uh, I, you missed what I said earlier, but basically tomorrow, Harold Halibut comes out uh, for, uh, well, I, I, I guess everything. Um, I, I don't know if it's going to be on the Switch, but I mean, it's going to be out for the Xbox, PS5, PC. So I'm going to be streaming it on my channel. Um, it is a, it is a point and click adventure game. Uh, very reminiscent to like Sierra point and click adventure games and LucasArts, uh, except it's all done in stop motion animation. So none of it is CGI. It's all filmed on actual hand built sets with, uh, little, uh, animatronic clay animated doll things. So, uh, we're going to be streaming that tomorrow. Um, and, uh, that game actually releases tomorrow. So... I'm really excited for that because I've been waiting. That game's been in that game has been in production for like ten years. <laughs> the plot board was empty. <laughs> I actually thought it was canceled. I needed a new draft back at the beginning, but closer to my goal. Uh, okay. So I'm guessing. Really, no inspiration up here. Interesting. All right, but I do notice that arrow is pointing at something up there. Uh huh. You should also stream Donald Dipshit in the quest for poodles. Donald Dipshit in the quest. You you sound like you just made up a game. Okay, words of stuff. Mark all nearby resources and points of interest on Wake's map. Expand Alan's inventory by one row. I thought, I thought it was going to be by one. It's just as good of a name as Harry Halibut. Okay, it's a stupid name, but the game looks really fucking good. Um, I'm excited to play it, honestly. Um, and honestly... You're one to talk. You played some really stinker name games, so don't you start with me. Half of Atari's library has terrible names. <laughs> I was re-watching our live streams, too, of when we uh, live streamed the Atari uh, uh, update. The, the, the ten games that got added in. And it was re it was really funny when we were like... We were... <laughs> We were trying to figure out some of the games. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was interesting. <laughs> Can't wait for the next update for that. M more, more Atari weirdness. I heard they're adding more. Yeah, they are. Luke, he has a nickname, Stu Saget. I like that game. More crappy ones. Probably more crappy ones, right? I, the only one that we we really liked in that collection was the one where you're saving the wife from being drowned. I didn't have the key. What? Okay, what's room 101 then?
Save Mary, it was called. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you see what I mean? So don't 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 talk to me about Harold Halibut when they have stupid names. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I'm, uh, it, it's been fun, guys, but, uh, I'm, uh, I'm to gonna take fair, a rain check. was never released, LOL. No, I'm using that as an example. I'm saying most Atari games had terrible names anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... We're still in 200, so this doesn't make any sense. How can we be in... Okay, this hotel is fucked. How can... So... Two seven, there's two doors to 217? One on the opposite side? This is... What the hell did we just do? Did we just go in a complete circle? That doesn't make any sense. I just went in that one room. How did it le It just spins around to the other side? Okay. Let's go back here. Now, theoretically, this should not work, but this is Alan Wake 2 and it's fucky. Yeah, the entire wallpaper and, and scenery is totally different now. Um, okay. What was that key? Room 101? It's right over here. It's this door right here. Yeah. Oh, it would help if I put in the right key. Uh, all right, let's see what's in here. Probably nothing. <laughs> Losing the shit. It will work. The my inspiration elements for my story to make it more true. Even the parts that are true. I, I must change reality to escape. The writing has to be just right, just right, or else it'll all just wash away. Yeah, he's losing his mind. I mean, he's been trapped in the dark place, forced to write a story for thirteen years. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that would cause anybody to go insane. All righty then. Ha! I see what you did there. Are these for the flare? Oh, they are for the flare gun. Hell to the yes. What is in here? No. Did you watch the new Fallout series? It's uh, really good. No, I have not. Uh, I have, my roommate has watched it, and he said it's pretty cool. I also have friends on my PlayStation who have watched the Fallout series and said it was good, I too. I heard it was good, but haven't seen it yet. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of the games, so I'm not as intrigued by it as other people are. Um, yeah, I'm, it's, it, what the fuck happened there? Okay. There is a shadow here. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I haven't, I, I might watch it at some point. I haven't really decided. Um, but yeah, I, I, I have 
heard from a lot of people that it's pretty accurate to the games. That is not... Who knows what evil lurks in the farts of men? The shadow knows. In, in the farts of men? I'm concerned, Stu. Are you having another senior moment? Do we need to call your doctor? Um, all right, so uh, this is, yes, this is the door I need to go in. This will lead us back to the ballroom. It's a lot of twists and turns in this uh, motel. I just like making your bot say stuff. Fair enough. Wait a minute, what is this? Oh my god, that's uh... <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's bleeding his other games into Alan Wake 2. That's the one of the main protagonists from the video game Control, which is another game made, made by Sam Lake. That's, oh, I can, what was his name? Dr. Um... I don't remember his name, but but they're so they're crossing. See, this all makes sense now. They're crossing over all the characters from all his games into one universe, which makes me wonder what Alan Wake 2's DLCs are going to be. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Max Payne in them. Diarco Borkian. No, that's not... <laughs> that wasn't his name. <laughs> I couldn't get in. I was missing something. Yeah, we need the key. So, find out what happened at the ballroom. So... Let's just do a quick save here, because I know that shit's gonna go sour in this location. What's my health at? I'm sitting at... Full, by the looks of it? Alright. Uh, so we want to change the outcome of the ballroom to pre-show ritual. The scene had changed. So just as an FYI, uh, Stu, because I don't think you've ever seen these manipulation things, but basically this is Alan Wake's uh, drawing board, if you will. Um, and he's able to alter, um, alter shit. Just by writing it in. So it's actually a really cool concept because, like, you can write in doors as an example to a wall. It's a really neat, neat concept. Um, like a tailor? What? Like a tailor? Yeah, Taylor Swift. Taylor, not so swift. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the cult in the play was called the Cult of the Tree, with their deer masks. You said he can alter stuff. The cult of the words urban horror. The... <sighs> Not like that. I thought you meant like suits. No. Yes, Alan Wake, the suit designer. There's nothing here. Investigate the rehearsal room. Two, two, 202? Do I have a key for 202? I do not have a key for 202. Well, I think we're done here. I needed to find the key. I got a shotgun. Why? Who do I need? What do I need a key for? I could just blast down the damn door. Let's be fair. Stuck behind video game logic. God damn it! All right. Um. Two o two.
should be on this side then. Oh, it's just it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now I know. All right. Uh, whoops. We need to um, change the plot in the rehearsal room to the pre-show ritual. Why set up a play in a hotel? Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom did we summon the same thing tapped into something horrifying it it seemed like it was part of the play but it wasn't does that sound crazy you don't want to ask me about crazy kid a haunted hotel yes that's a trope for a reason so I always liked how he did that animation. So basically how those are done is those are actually FMV segments that are superimposed over the game. It's actually really cool. Um, I, I always liked that because uh, he started doing that in Control. Control had that a lot where he was doing that kind of style. And uh, thankfully it, it, it came over to Alan Wake 2, which actually makes it a lot more immersive than a standard FMV game wood so we're gonna go to haunted <clears throat> Perform the haunted rich, yeah. Perform wake. <sighs> oh. Figure you boys were going to attack me. good i have to i have to i think i'm gonna have to move my um, mic or something it's it's sitting right in front of my health bar i always have to like lean forward to figure out where, <laughs> what my health is sitting at all right quick save uh we want to switch this to no wait hold up Pre-show ritual switch to haunted. It's getting real, all right. I recognized my writer's room on the stage. I almost dreaded the ideas this would conjure up. What was the nice set you got here? What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites. I bought a Spider-Man PC game for $5 at a show on Sunday. I got a big time celebrity to play. What, uh, which one? Some a whole bought one from the same guy and listed it on eBay for $200. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm -hmm. like, and who was this? What? Mystery There's been celebrity. lots of Spider-Man games on PC. Which one was it? Wake. I wish I could tell you. But turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was, was it the one that ha was narrated by Stan Lee? <laughs> I Something hated that one. Joking. The one by Paragon Software. That doesn't narrow it. Mister Scratch is the devil. He you have to be more specific. I know that there was one on PC back I in the nineties. It was all narrated by Stan Lee, and it got so annoying because he. Oh, for fuck's sake! Jeez! 
Jesus Christ! Oh. Get to the light out! Christ, it's an orgy of fucking shadows. Um, but yeah, no, so there was an Alan Wake, there's a... Yeah, there is a... I think that's the one. There is a Spider-Man game that, that came out in the 90s, and it was like a, a third-person... It was terrible. It was so bad. It was third-person... Um, you could only swing above the city, Skyline. If you fell down to the city, you would die. Um... Your web's attached to clouds, basically, because they didn't attach to buildings. And Stan Lee narrated the entire game, and it was really annoying. I mean, I love Stan Lee to death, don't get me wrong. I just don't need him narrating every single thing I do in a game. It, it, it was really annoying. Spider-Man attaches his web to a cloud. It's like, uh, thanks, bud. Not Alan Wake's not here. Try again. What room is that? 209? Do I have a key for 209 yet? No, I don't. Of course I don't. Listen up, true believers. Follow the devil's trail? Yes. Listen up, true believers. Um... Oh, the Devil's Trail. Headlines, Grotto and Stu, Fun or a Menace. Oh, wait a freaking minute. I have to switch. Uh, uh. Grotto and Stu, Threat or Menace? Both. We're a threat and a menace. Grotto is definitely what? a menace. Nah, I'd say Stu. Hello. The name alone. That ego, ego, egotistical. See, I don't have mine. See, he's an egotist. Stu's an egotist. He puts his name in his YouTube channel name. I don't do that. My name's not Grotto. <laughs> there you go. There's proof. Stu's just an egotist. Okay, so we need to switch this again. Maybe the devil. Grotto, I'm going to tell your mom that you denied your name. She won't be happy. <laughs> she doesn't give a shit. <laughs> All right, so this is exactly what we wanted to have happen. So now we want to follow the blood trail of death. The devil walked through the hotel, dragging the whole place to hell with him. I mean, when in Rome! Alright, um... Alan Wake. Quick save. Now, we should be able to switch this to... Are they talking the about Kaiser Sose? This was the devil's path up the staircase was draped in blood. <laughs> Oh, Here comes Alan's wave. Pretty much. Let me reload. You prick. There we go. Perfect opportunity to... I totally forgot about those, uh... Those dudes. Shumbawamba. Oh, hey, always asleep. Shit, I haven't seen you on my channel in like 25,000 years. How you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing good. He gets knocked down, but he gets up again. <laughs> Are we talking about 
Are we talking about Always Asleep or Alan Wake? Who are we talking about? <laughs> That's because your content hasn't been good in like 25,000 years. Oh, yeah. I, I know, especially those streams I've done with this idiot Stu's Game Reviews. They've been terrible. They've been the worst. <laughs> you walked yourself into that one, bud. <laughs> Is this the end of Spider-Man? Huh. LOL. I felt the presence of a new idea here. Mr. Scratch, if that's who the actor playing the devil was, had stayed in the hotel. Asking around at reception got me a room number. Hmm. 666. <laughs> of course. He requested that room, specifically. <laughs> the devil had a sense of humor. Or he really didn't. It was funny either way. Is there According even the director? The actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. He had only come out for the play, and always in character. Is there even six 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 hotel rooms? I've never. I don't think I've ever seen a six 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 hotel room in a hotel. Just like how there's no thirteenth floor. Your redecorating skills are terrible. Look at the peeling wallpaper and all the blood on the floor. What the fuck? This is a terrible design, guys. All right. Jesus. I guess we found 666. Face orange biting nails. Scratch had been there. I could sense his presence. Which later. is better, always asleep, this or 9 or 999? Okay, let's talk. Okay, let's well, talk you're going to get a biased answer from uh, always asleep because he's a big fan of Sam Lake, just like I am. Um, and, um, this is best. Um, there is a lot of bleed over. So, um, always asleep. I don't know if you realize this. There is a whole discussion about Alan Wake 2 on all these message boards and everybody thinks, be okay. So Tim Breaker, Sheriff Tim Breaker, I thought he would say so, but I wanted to know Sheriff Tim Breaker in Alan Wake 2. He's got the middle name E just, just E. Um, and so. If you put those all, all of that together, it spells Time Breaker, which is a reference, I think, to um, his to uh, uh, Sean Ashmore's character in Sam Lake's other game, uh, Quantum Break. So, a lot of people are are thinking that Tim Breaker is actually the character from uh, Quantum Break. And that he just doesn't realize it. Because realistically, he's trapped in these dimensions with Warl and Dor and everybody. And, you know, like, he doesn't even know where he is half the time. So a, a lot of people are assuming that he's just the character from Quantum Break that's been shoved into uh, Alan Wake's universe. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading lady. Oh, it was an honor to get to work with her. A grand dame for sure. She went back a That's pretty cool. Yeah. Insisting she had seen the And the DLCs are supposed to be coming out very soon. The first one will have us trapped inside of um the series uh uh Night Springs. She was staying in room one oh eight. So I'm I'm really looking forward to that because like I mean night Night Springs for me was always really cool. I like that little mini series. Executed with devastating mastery. And all leading up to him. Did you know that Scratch's character's last name is My Nuts? That apparently is a reference to Max Payne. To murder her. Shut up! 
what happens when you give senile senior citizens a mic. The lore runs deep. The lore runs deep. Oh, yeah, fucker! All right. Get the fuck away from me! I had to reach the light ahead to hide from the dark presence. I made it. I made it. The dark presence had come well, for me. Well, we survived another Drawn attack to the by story Scratch. I was writing as it grew darker. Good old Scratch. They were actually going to attack him, but because he cursed, they decided not to. No, so if you if you stop and let him attack you, you're presented with a very gruesome the was the death victim. video. The final of, scene took place in room 108. Of Alan Wake, like literally laying on the ground, all just covered in blood and guts um but it was like live action fmv footage of him dying it's, it's weird So it, what's really bothering me here is I investigate the room, murder site in room 108. So 108 is just the, the room down the hall. But um, I, I, for some reason, I'm missing a key. And the key I'm missing is supposed to take me into Sheriff Breaker's safe room. And for some reason, I, I can't seem to find I it. I needed to find the muse, the murder victim. Room 108. Because I I would like to actually... I would like to actually talk to Tim Breaker before we leave this location, and I know that I if we... I remember hearing that the dragon keeps the key around his neck. The hell does that have to do with what we're playing? <laughs> Again, senility, I'm telling you... It affects us all eventually, I suppose. All right, let's, um... God, where is that fucking key, though? Seriously. Um... It's room 10... I couldn't get in. I was missing something. Shut up. Yeah, I know. You're missing a key, you fucking... <laughs> I know what you're missing. You're not... You're not... Uh... Actually, I got a flare gun. What am I doing? I can just kill these motherfuckers. Yeah, 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 come over here and play. Hiding. I don't mind using up half my flares, considering I barely ever use the flare gun as it is. Is there any more of you guys in here? Alright. Oh, yeah, see? Eat shit, shadow people. <laughs> Eat shit, shadow people. Um... See, I don't know where that key is for breakers. Except, so it's weird because when I was playing this last night, I was, I was playing ahead, just to, uh, 
Are they all back again? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Not wasting my uh, flashlight batteries on that again. Uh, Alright, I, I may just have to forego my meeting with Tim Breaker as much as I don't want to because I uh, I don't think I know where the key is see that's weird like I remember playing this last night and and I remember picking up the key but I just don't remember where the fuck I picked it up I don't like 3D games where you need to search for random stuff. Hold up. <laughs> Haven't you played games like that? You played worse games than this. What are you on about? Fucking silver case made me want to drink bleach. And I was just voicing in it. <laughs> that game was fucking terrible. I know you like visual novels where you have to search for random stuff. It's worse in 3D. It depends on the game. So I, I don't technically have to. This is just for my own interest. I wanted to go talk to, to Sheriff Breaker. It's not a part of the story. Like at all. Oh. I don't want to go back there. So let's just advance the story. Fuck it. We just won't talk to Tim Breaker this time around. It's just kind of a bummer because uh, he gives some interesting backstory. Unless there's a key in... Can door down. Wait a minute. Why is there an arrow on this? Okay. There's something in here. We're just gonna ignore the fact that we just clipped through that wood, but okay. What? Yeah, shut up. You can't get me in here. There's obviously a reason to be in here. It looks like there's a trap door underneath the freaking... Well, that's weird. Uh... Was there something on the toilet tank? No. No, there's nothing in here. I don't understand why the arrow is pointing here. Normally the arrows point here because... Yes, yeah, so you can't destroy those. Also try shooting the floor. Uh, yeah, I just did. Uh, that's not doing anything. Just wasting my bullets. Uh, the only other thing I can think is, can I... Man uh, no, I can't. <laughs> did Sam Lake for forget to put something in this room? Is that what happened? What happened here? Because uh, I'm not seeing Use a damn. Use the toilet to relieve yourself. Wait a minute. No. <laughs> Use the toilet. That's not. Yeah, that's the secret room. Just, just uh, we're here to take a piss. Because normally those arrows point towards the spirals, which give you upgrades to your uh, to your abilities. So logically, you would think that the spiral would be somewhere in this room, given that the arrows, you know, pointing at this. Okay. Did I walk past? Wait a minute. 
Oh, it's so faint when you're in there. Okay, that's why I didn't see it. All right. Fuck. That was crazy. All right. Uh. Yeah. Better damage with the handgun. All right, um, so Always Asleep, if you haven't played Alan Wake 2 in New Game Plus, you really need to do it because they added a whole bunch of new content in New Game Plus mode, like new cutscenes. Um, there's a lot more backstory tied into Control in New Game Plus. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to do New Game Plus on this channel because it would just take too fucking long because it adds a lot more uh, backstory. So there's a lot more cutscenes and stuff um suffice it to say that it seems highly likely that jesse faden the lead in control is going to be in the alan wake 2 dlcs i'd say a 99 percent certainty um because she's in the, the the new game plus like her and uh uh Matthew Peretta's character, the, the doctor dude. I can't remember his name now. Oh my god. Okay. Can't get me in here, so don't try. So we're gonna go back here. Oh, I like that. Yes. Yeah, so, um... Ah, I really want to say something about it, but uh, I don't know if I don't know if I can. It's not really it's not really crucial to the story in New Game Plus. But basically, um, there's one cutscene uh, that you watch through the TV where um, where Jesse Faden and the the Doctor are trying to to get Alan Wake out of the dark place on their end, and then Thomas Zane ends up teleporting himself through the tv into their world it's really weird it's like it's like all bleeding together Wake. but it's not crucial to the story it's like uh, one of those side you know those collectible side videos that you can pick up on a tv uh we want just like Stu wants it we want the, the climax. Changed. We got another bleeding effect going on here. I love how these are done. Very cool. Very trippy, yet very cool. Good old Poets of the Fall. What do you have to say? Lost on the shore between the forest and the ocean, the owl and the deer, reflected in motion. In his room he will hurt her, in hers he is caught. His story ends, her story does not. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. It's the chant that the, the uh, cult of the tree keeps saying. This was the murder site. There was a record at the bottom of the bathtub, beneath the body. Somehow... Another step. Somehow I was closer to home. Closer than ever before. It's you again. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wake. Oh, I'm right. still trapped. We have the clicker. We can figure the limits. You know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the dark presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write it? Know the story. Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find Return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. 
Initiation. It's the only way. It's a story. No, 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 no. You can do that, Raya. You can write our right out. It lasted only for a moment, so like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me, helping me go deeper, closer to escape. Somehow, I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of her turn. So, um, because of the interference, he's not understanding what Saga is saying at all. But what she's actually trying to say, and we learned this from earlier when we were playing as Saga, is that she's trying to tell Wake... She's trying to tell Wake to write out her daughter out of the story, because otherwise her daughter will be killed. So that that's what's going on there. Um, and Alan Wake is not understanding what she's saying. Because it, her her vocabulary is just coming through all broken. She's basically saying, I'll help you, but you have to write my daughter out of the story. Why does it say end of part? Oh my god. Stu, have you not paid attention when we've done the previous live streams of Alan Wake? They're all in chapters. Uh, so Sam Lake likes to make his games kind of like a TV series. He uh, he puts them in like episodes, episodic format. End even though fart. end of fart. Why doesn't it say which part though? Like end of part five. Uh. Because it expects you to know what chapter you're on. That is not as cool. Might as well save our progress here. Skadoosh. I cannot even begin to tell you how many times I've replayed Alan Wake 2. It's kind of pathetic. It's like literally my favorite game of 2023. I like play this game so much. I, I must have beaten it like about 200 times. <laughs> and I know that once the uh, once the DLC, uh, I know that once the DLC uh, comes out, uh, shit, there was a. Um, my son has like 500 percented Spider-Man 2. Ah, uh, damn it, we missed it. Because I walked past it. So on this computer monitor... The DLC is called Chip. On this computer monitor, there's a, a, a control cutscene that happens. We, we missed it because I went through the door instead of going to it first. Oh well. We at least got to see one of the control cutscenes. But unfortunately you missed it uh, always asleep. But there was uh, characters from Control bleeding through to Alan Wake. Parliament Tower was in here the again. Zane said the manuscript of Return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. We're not going to question the fact that the elevator just opens up for him. <laughs> I mean, realistically, he's not even in the real world anyway. He's in the... Uh, the dark world, the dark presence world of New York. <gasps> Go to hell! I'm already there! Thanks! It's, it's, I've been there 
since the beginning of this game. <laughs> I don't, I'm not saying because the game is hell, I'm saying because Alan Wake is literally in hell. get inside the manuscript. Alice had turned the bathroom into a dark room. Yeah. It's all photos of Scratch. Nope, that's a window. <laughs> Don't think that's gonna take us anywhere. I've got a 1990s computer here. In 2023. Clearly, clearly this is Stu's house. Now, <laughs> hey Alice, everything good with you back home? Just checking in. Tried to call, but couldn't reach you. Uh, you are probably just deep in your creative process. I know how you artists get when you're in the middle of your projects. Everything else disappears. If you call back and can't reach me, I'm doing whatever it is an executive producer is supposed to do. Still a mystery to me. Oh, that's typical Barry. Oh, and if you want me to help with anything business related to your exhibition, just say the word. Your pal Barry. God, I hated Barry in the first game. <laughs> He was so annoying. Hey, Alice. Should I... Should I do it like Barry? Hey, Alice! Shark circling! They now want to turn... Oh, God, I hated his voice so much. Uh, they now want to turn what happened to Al into a movie and or a TV show and or, get this, a fucking video game. I told them to fuck off. Wait, what? So we're breaking the fourth wall now? So... <sighs> they want to turn Alan Wake into a video game. I told them to fuck off. <sighs> okay. Uh, um, also, in case you hear about this from someone else, a true crime writer named Tammy Booker is working on a book about Owl. I hunted down her publisher and told them we'll sue. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Sounds like a porn game too. Your pal Barry. Well, given that it's Barry, Barry Wheeler is probably the producer, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I don't even understand how he even made it to being a producer. He's an idiot. If you ever played Alan Wake 1, you'll see what I mean. He's just a complete tool. Hey, Alice, checking in because I haven't heard from you. Everything good back there? I've been trapped in nonstop meetings with no breaks. Open kimono. I have considered peeing in a mug and lunches be damned. How these people ever get a movie made when all they do is sit in meetings is beyond me. Your pal, Barry. I'm still concerned by the fact that you want to pee into a mug, but okay. Hey, Alice, you're going to think I've been replaced by an evil double, but I have joined a cult and I love it. Joking about it being a cult. Kind of. Blessed wellness retreat. Working with Al or the Andersons was tough sometimes, but these movie biz types are insane. My stress levels were through the roof, but then I was tipped off about the retreat. The best decision I ever made. I have never felt this good and, well, healthy. The guy who runs this place, Chester, is a goddamn miracle worker, not a wacko in any way. I know, you think I'm full of shit, but I have tough lost a ton of weight you wouldn't recognize me chester says i'm lucky to have ended up here that something bad would have happened to me if i'd stayed in new york i believe him i wasn't feeling great after everything that happened especially after those fbc creepos wanted to chat with me enough to turn anyone into a conspiracy nut i hope you are good over there come visit anytime West Coast is not as bad as I made it sound in my earlier mails. Your pal, Barry. And the final one. Greetings from Hollywood. Hey, Alice. I'm more a fish out of water in Hollywood than I ever was in the Pacific Northwest wilderness. These yuppies with their glow-in-the-dark teeth couldn't be more fake if they had six fingers. And everything is so fucking great all the time, even when it's, in fact, the opposite. More than once, I've thrown up in my mouth during meetings with these movie exec jerks. But I gotta be here to look after Al's legacy. 
everyone wants to gobble up the film rights to the Kate for the Casey books, and they have moronic ideas of what to do with them. It's my duty to herd this horde of tan zombies into the general direction of something resembling good taste. I'm painfully aware how deeply Al would have hated adaptations that they didn't do justice to his vision. He was a master of hating things deeply. For good reasons. I mean, that's why we loved him so much, right? Anyway, gotta hop on another video call now to talk about casting. Your pal Barry. Absolutely uh, non-required reading. <laughs> Still, good to see the small text cameo by Barry. I kind of wonder if we'll see him in the DLCs. Probably not. It, it, I don't think it would make sense to the story, but it'd be kind of cool if it was. For months after Ellen died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened by the confusion, the shock, the, the guilt, fear. I could barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in. Even after he moved out west. I, I always found it weird. So originally when I started playing Alan Wake 2 for the first time, and I, I got to the segments where it's video footage of Alice Wake, Alan's wife, and I thought to myself, that is not the same actress at all. <laughs> like, if you compare what she looked like in Alan Wake 1 compared to this, and then I realized, wait a minute, Alan Wake 2 takes place 13 years later, so naturally she would have aged. And uh, obviously, no, it's not the same actress, for, actress from the first game, but... Uh, she does a pretty damn good job, this one. Alice's work had consumed the apartment. Her, Her acting life. is really good. Actually, the same can be said for everybody in the FMV segments in Alan Wake 2. I find that all of their in acting is... fiction, she had a fast lift, I believe. Shut up. These are terrifying photos she's taking of scratch too and she's so stupid because she i think at this point she thinks that they're all photos of alan wake these are all Please photos of you dumb bot. these are all photos of scratch not none of these photos are of alan wake she seems to think that when he bleeds over from the dark realm that it's actually him yeah that's all scratch So Scratch is the demonic side of Alan Wake. He's basically uh, Alan Wake if he if he was a demon. Is that a hand drowning underwater? Strange. One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window it was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal and i looked out at the street below and i saw a little girl crying like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world it was the perfect image of the horror of caring And that's when I got myself out of bed. And I picked up my camera. I saw a deer. It was some animal. You just said it was a deer. <laughs> Shut up. 
just need to show a what? Is that supposed to say a glimpse? If so, they spelled glimpse wrong. G I G L I M P S. That's not how you spell glimpse. All right. Anyway, moving on. There was something in the dark. Something I needed to see, to show. The more shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. Yeah, I think she does a really good job uh, acting and, and conveying emotion and everything. Because realistically, she's broken and um, she... Uh, you, you'll find out as the game progresses, but basically she misses Alan a lot. More, more so than she lets on. Uh, to the point where it eats her alive inside. Because she thinks that... She, she doesn't think he's dead. She thinks that there's still hope and that he's still alive and she can get him back. There's a world hidden behind ours. A dark tide ebbing and flowing against reality. Faces in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that... that vast, paralyzing ocean. But photography can freeze reality in a snapshot put a cage around the infinite and capture it I need to prove those faces are really there Manuscript of a novel. Return. A horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out, people would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. daughter and instead so that was scratch who came in with a gun and shot alan awake in the head that's what we just witnessed <laughs> but alan wake can't die while he's in the dark place he just part six since the last one was part five what a narrative
This is far more engaging than any game with a nine in the title streamed by someone else too. I agree. I agree. I agree 100%. What is with him playing nine, not games with the nine in the title? Scratch was there. On the tower, undo it's been a reoccurring work. thing over it on his channel for a game. while now. He could go after Alice. Stu, you should take uh, take respite in the German the German the German wording of nine. <laughs> no more. <laughs> no more nines. I will stream this game, God willing, in two thousand and seventy-two. You will stream this game, God willing, in 2072. Well, that that'll probably be around the time when your son lets you use his PlayStation Five. <laughs> Man has a PlayStation Five and hasn't even tried any games on it yet. Can I just uh, say that? Uh, let's see if I can find it on here. Poets of the Fall, the happy song. Can we just say that this song is so good <laughs> and so aptly put for, like, the theme music for Scratch? We're going to listen to this right now because it's actually really good. the gamers grotto it was really nice of you to let sam lake use your song <laughs> shut up <laughs>
So that that's a song called The Happy Song. It's that's actually amazing. done that song is actually done by uh, Poets of the Fall who do a lot of the music for Alan Wake 2 and I, I think almost all of Sam Lake's games actually. They're a YouTube band. They're from uh, Sweden, I think. Uh, Finland, Sweden, I can't remember, but um they're uh, very popular. Um, as a matter of fact, the Game Awards got them a lot more attention um, when they performed at the Game Awards. Uh, but they, yeah, the, so the, the musical number, Herald of Darkness, that we saw earlier on in the game, that, that entire musical number is done by them. The, the band that was performing in that segment is actually them. And so a lot of their music is in this game. Now, um, it's interesting that they've added Take Control in here. Now... Uh, Take Control is is a, is a song from Control, the game Control. Not once in the entire game of Alan Wake 2 do you hear that song. At all. So, why would it be put into this section? The only thing I can think is, is that in the upcoming DLCs, there's going to be a lot more of Control involved because why it just doesn't make any sense to because normally how this works this 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 section here is these are all songs or, or or audio clips that you've heard throughout your game um that you can replay at any time take control was never in the game at all like that song was exclusive to the video game control so um, and that's my that's my belief is that that there's probably going to be more control oriented stuff with Jesse Faden and, and all those characters in the upcoming DLCs. It just makes sense. Anyway, uh, let's go back into the game. Um, spent enough time in here. Um, I think we have to go back to the typewriter and write so more you stuff. Max Payne to be in the DLC, and lot. Alan Wake should mistake him for the FBI guy who I got shot. It. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. Well, did you not realize? One sec. I'll explain it in a second. So the very first time Alan Wake meets uh, 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 Alex Casey outside of movie-esque cutscenes, um, when he meets him in person uh, in the Dark Realm, I don't know if you realized, but Alex Casey was wearing the Max Payne outfit. He had the black leather jacket and the Hawaiian shirt thingy underneath. It, it's 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 a bleed over effect all of his games are mashing so he's basically taken every single one of his games and smashed them into a blender and made alan wake too <laughs> that's i think i missed that part yeah no uh, the, yeah no uh, max Payne has already bleeded into alan wake too and so has control and so has uh quantum break all of his games are tying in together so now something interesting here um, we're going to see Warland Dor here in this upcoming segment. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but Warland Dor, played by Dorian Harewood, was originally supposed to be played by, um, uh, oh, what's his name? Um, Lance Reddick. And La Lance Reddick, unfortunately, left us, passed away in his sleep. Um, but uh, Lance Reddick was originally cast as Warland Dor. And uh, supposedly... Uh, according to what I've heard from Dorian Harewood, the uh, the new actor playing Warland Dor, was that um, that character is supposed to be um, the character from Quantum Break. It's supposed to be... Um, uh, what was his name in Quantum Break? Uh, Lance Reddick's character in Quantum Break is supposed to be Warland Dor, um, bleeding over. 
because War, uh, Lance Reddick's character is is kind of like a changeling. He's kind of like he can change his, his form. Um, and his form for Alan Wake 2 is supposed to be Warland Door. So that's that's a tie over. That's a crossover from uh, Quantum Break right there. And that's not the first time that that the actors and, and writers and stuff have said that, that it's crossing over. Uh, we've already seen video footage of Jesse Faden earlier on when we were at the, the previous chapter, actually. Uh, uh, if you go back to one previous stream, uh, part six, there is a, a scene where we see for a split second Jesse Faden and uh, the, the, the professor, the doctor dude, uh, in FMV segment. Um, so they're bleeding over too. So basically all of Sam Lake's games are, are culminating in Alan Wake 2. Which makes me wonder what's going to happen with these DLCs. Because it's very obvious that he's going to mash all of his characters in together, probably for the DLC. I don't have time for this, so let's get it over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you, but we can stop pretending now. Uh, masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think you know who's under your mask, but you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules, endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky, you know. There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. Myself. Your wife. Alice. I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. Because of you. And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. You keep opening doors, peeking in, reaching through to get what you want, and that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. The next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wake. Whatever you say. Door, Zane, the masks were finally coming off. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste. Okay, so... 
if Dorian Harewood, the actor who plays Warlandor, is correct, the guy that he's talking about in that segment where he says, you pulled in somebody, somebody very close to me, is likely the character... Alan Wake never made it home. The, the Is likely the character from uh, Quantum Break. Um... Because, from my understanding, Warland Door is supposed to be uh, Lance Reddick's character from uh, Quantum Break, just in a different form. Um, also, he mentioned he mentioned in that cutscene he mentioned, uh, oh, the the Night Springs charade has gone on long enough. That's ref that's referencing the upcoming DLC. So. That DLC ties into this story and probably takes place before all of this shit. Um, so there is a lot at play here. There is a lot of backstory and there is a, a hell of a lot more to this game that we will be experiencing over the next uh, little bit. But yeah, no, there's uh, there's a lot at play here, and that's why I firmly believe that. Um, oh look, it's Audi again. Alan Wake. This is my story. Alan Wake. You gonna fade away? Or you gonna attack me? All right. Alan Wake. Stop fading in and out of existence, sir. Here is the light at the end of the tunnel. Good old Audi. Wow, that, that held you close, Tom. Eh, but a con, what set the granny in the snow? When the panic is biggest, the help is also near. Dor didn't seem happy to see me this time. Hearing the master is the root of wisdom. But don't let the game get you down. He's playing his role. Maybe put him in your films, Tom. Like you have put me. Say <laughs> hi, Nolisk. What films? <laughs> I'm a fan of your masterworks. Uh, there is Dom the Poet, my favorite, and Uerden Ur is the most famous one, of course. And is it true what I hear? That it's coming back to cinema soon? Is there a bottom to this rumor? I need to get back to my apartment. Can you help me? Well, plan is half done. You asked me to make sure you won't forget the... the... the, 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 the light pictures. The photos you artist wife took. Uh, they are waiting in the shoe box in the basement. What you leave behind, you find in front of you. Okay. Thanks, Adi. So, uh, obviously, I, I always asleep probably knows this, but anybody who's played Control will know that Adi... I, 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 I'm looking for... Adi is from Control. ...in the cinema. But first, I work. And the work won't end even when you do it, Perkele. Oh, hey, see, one potato at a time. The Just remember, Tom, the brave will eat the pea soup. Okay. Um, so in Control, Adi was, I kind of want to say he was almost like a main character because he was seen so often in Control. What's a perkella? It's, uh, it's Swedish. I don't know what it, he doesn't, they don't translate the the uh that uh dialogue uh so i i don't know um but uh no so, so Adi's character uh, Adi's actor is uh is swedish or something like that it's, i think he's swedish um but he um if you look up his bio on IMDb, he's only really done foreign films. Uh, aside from, you know, 
uh, uh, control in Alan Wake 2. He, he hasn't really done all that much. Um, English things. I would find Alice's photos in a shoebox. And that's what he looks like. So what, what he looks like as Audie, that's what he looks like in real life. Because Sam Lake uses uh, full facial, facial capture animation for all of his characters. Um... He's been doing that since the original Max Payne, which had his uh, uh, a diarrhea face <laughs> for, for, for Max Payne. Got the... These were Alice's photos. I recognized the style. One showed the clicker sinking into darkness. The other showed a light in the shape of a bullet. They were important, even if I didn't know what to do with them yet. Wait, where are you? I can hear you. I don't see you. Are you just going to leap out in front of me? Pookie, you had a perfect opportunity to attack and you lost it. Let's get the hell out of here. So, obviously he's going insane from being trapped in the writer's room for 13 years. Because you have to understand, the real Alan Wake... So we're not really playing as the real Alan Wake, per se. The real Alan Wake is, is literally trapped in that writer's room and has been for 13 years and is going insane. And that brings up an interesting thing, because he, um, he said, what kind of name is Alan Wake? 
Awake? What kind of a name is that? Which almost makes me wonder if all along Alan Wake has never been his actual name. To get to Parliament Tower, I that needed to just find a, another site. A fictionalized name. One. It's it's weird. Like there's so much twists and turns in this series, uh, but at the same time, so much so much interesting story behind it as well. Terror bohemian with a hard on for acts of cruelty performed in the name of occult nonsense. A director wants to control every aspect of the world in their films. Is a cult leader any different? Was Zane just another alias for scratch? There was a rumor that Wake and Zane had been working on something together. I was going to get the truth out of Zane whatever means necessary. Again, I really love that style of, like, superimposing FMV over the game screen. It's, it's really nice. Uh, and we saw a lot of that in Control, and it's really good to, to have that back here in, um... Look for Zane at the hotel. Okay, I am going the right way. Um, it's really nice to have... The fuck? Where is the dot for that one? I don't remember there... Is that it there? Oh yeah, there it is. Had I chosen to pursue the cult, or had they chosen me for some unknowable purpose? To be a demon, to sort the clues based on my interpretation, to change that which I observed. It was all a play, shadows on the wall of the cave, an echo of the true events that happened somewhere else. Was I there to watch the shadows, or was I a shadow too? In a performance set up for someone else. All right, so we need to, um, Why is there a TV? Zane's room, 665, was upstairs. The elevator would take me there. We're going to investigate that TV on the way back after meeting Zane, because that's there for a reason. I feel like we're going to get some more control bleed through in that TV. So we're getting close to the end of, our, of, the, of the playthrough for today. We're just going to meet up with Zane, uh, check out that TV screen, probably save our progress and end the stream for today. Uh, but we will be back tomorrow uh, streaming the all-new uh, point-and-click adventure game, Herald Halibut, which is all done in stop-motion animation with no CGI or computer no. graphics at all. I want five more hours. Tough shit. <laughs> <laughs> two hours is the max because i feel like after two hours uh uh you know like at the hour and a half mark people start to get bored and uh you know i understand that people have a life <laughs> just like i do so um yeah no we're gonna we're gonna end it at the two hour mark probably just like uh all of the other streams 
All right, so mosey on down here. I start to get bored at the five minute mark, but I still like to be here. Well, that's good. I appreciate you being here. Wait a minute. Does, does, am I going the wrong way? We're leaving the hotel if we do that. That doesn't make any sense. I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, we were going the, we were going the wrong way. All right. We got to go up here. There we go. Something told me Zane wouldn't be happy to see me this time. This is how we meet up with Zane. We end up we end up teleporting through the projector. Which again, don't try to question the logic of Alan Wake 2 because you'll never be able to. It's a mixture of the X-Files and Twin Peaks all mashed into one game. I'm in control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head. Scratch wrote return, not me. You're a fucking liar. You've given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous, that, that we didn't deserve to get out. And then he showed up. Scratch. He promised to write. To get me the hell out of here. He was magnificent. Visionary. I mean, it was art. Then, when he finished, he took return and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. But you can still catch him before he gets out. Before he gets to your wife. And when you get to him, don't hesitate. Zane seems like a piece of crap. For what he did to us. There's a murder site in my cinema where my film Nightless Night is playing. I told you not to try anything! <sighs> nice job, Alan. That was my favorite part so far. Beyond the labyrinth of me. When you're lost, you're lost in your own company. And cut! Oh. Now that is drama. Um... Seriously, is it possible to understand the plot of this game if you're not a psycho? <laughs> I have more pressing concerns. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stu. I had to find the movie theater poet <laughs> cinema. The next murder site was there. Zane oh. created the film in tandem with Return to escape the dark place. So if you play Tom, uh, Alan Wake 1, they explain the backstory of Thomas Zane a lot more than in this. But basically, Thomas Zane is another writer from long before Alan Wake's time who looked like and resembled Alan Wake. And so when Alan Wake arrived at Bright Falls, everybody assumed he was Thomas Zane. 
that's why you'll see that uh, Audi, when Audi talks to Alan Wake in this game, he refers to him as Tom. He doesn't refer to him as Alan, despite how many times Alan says, I'm not Tom, I'm Alan. Um, Thomas Zane is also played by the same actor who plays Alan Wake in the FMV segments. So um, Ilka Vili, uh, Vili uh, who uh, it plays Alan Wake in the FMV segments, as well as the mocap for Alan Wake, uh, also plays Thomas Zane in that FMV segment. That's why the actors look very identical, aside from, you know, one's got a beard, the other one doesn't. It's because it's the same dude. That's how talented he is. He's a very talented actor. And I've, I actually watched an interview with him recently. So one of my uh, uh, subscribe uh, person that I'm subscribed to, they actually had Il Cavili on their channel and they were interviewing him. And he's awesome, quite honestly. He's very, very, very nice guy and uh, very talented. Um and loves the Alan Wake too, uh, the Alan Wake fans a lot. Like he he freaking adores them. Oh, you're making us go out through this way. This will be interesting. So I need to get to another save spot that I'm gonna just end the stream for tonight. Should be a safe spot somewhere up here. There's a save pot, save pot, save spot right there. Perfect. We'll do a manual save. So we still got a little bit left of the game. So we, because we we have to get to the the cinema now. Uh, we have to 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 watch Zane's film and all that stuff. Um. Yeah, there's still at least two to three more more live streams until we finish Alan Wake 2. Um, but we made some pretty good progress today, uh, right at the two-hour mark, so not bad at all. So thank you very much to Stu's Game Reviews, Lewis, and Always Asleep for tuning in today. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be streaming at the same time uh, Harold Halibut, which is the point-and-click adventure game with stop-motion animation. Uh, so it's going to be using a mixture of felt, clay, and plastic uh, sets. All hand-built. Think of it like The Neverhood. If you guys remember that game, The Neverhood, uh, uh, or its sequel, uh, um, Armacrog. So if you guys remember those games, it's kind of like in that style, but a lot more fancy and beautiful. Uh, more so looks like a Tim Burton film. Like, I'd say Corpse Bride... Yes, Armacrog, yes. Uh, Cor Corpse Bride or uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas. It's kind of in that style of animation. Uh, so we're going to be checking that out tomorrow. Um, probably not going to go into Alan Wake again until I get back from visiting my family. So I'm going to be going away for two weeks uh, or, or so uh, to visit my family. So I'm probably not going to do another stream uh, until May. That is after tomorrow's stream. Tomorrow we'll do uh, Harold Halibut, and then after that I'll be heading out for a bit to visit family for my birthday and to just see them, because I haven't seen them in over a year. But until then, I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow for Harold Halibut. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. I, I've seen some gameplay footage of it already. It's been getting rave reviews so far, and uh, the story is actually really cool. I don't want to ruin anything, uh, so I'm not going to discuss the story at all, but uh, we will check it out tomorrow. And until then, guys, have a wonderful night, and if you missed any of the previous live streams, simply go over to my playlist section and check them out in there. As an example, if you missed any of the previous live streams of Alan Wake 2, simply go over to my playlist section, look up Alan Wake 2, and you'll find 
all of the previous live streams of Alan Wake 2 in that section. You'll also find in my playlist section a joint collaboration section. This is where I work with YouTubers like Stu's Game Reviews and Olaf Productions. You'll find their videos in that section. If you like what you see in those videos, consider liking and subscribing to those YouTubers as well. And finally, the Pirates of the Geek Vortex podcast is in my playlist section as well. So if you missed any of the previous podcasts we've done over there, you can find them in that playlist section as well. And until then, guys, have a wonderful night, and I'll see you soon at the Gamer's Grotto. Take care once again. Have a wonderful night, a wonderful rest of your night. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for Harold Halibut. And uh, then again, uh, after Harold Halibut, we'll see you in May, probably the first week or second week of May. Uh, we'll go back in Alan Wake 2, and as well, I've got some other FMV games that I want to showcase off to you guys. Some indie FMV games, just which halibut. just for the halibut. That's right. Just... <laughs> Double entendre. I I, I see. I the joke already, but you said halibut too many times. I know, right? What the halibut is wrong with me? <laughs> but yes, thank you very much, guys, for tuning in to tonight's live stream, and we'll see you soon. Take care. Have a wonderful night, and we'll see you tomorrow for uh lol for uh harold who shall not be named game <laughs> the, the stop motion game that shall not be named anymore <laughs> take care guys have a good night